What's up, YouTube? This is my Reef Octopus Diablo 225XS protein skimmer. Just going to show you a little bit uh, the parts that it came with. Obviously, the body, 8 inch uh, cup, uh, PSK 1000 pump, um, ventry tubes, air silencer, uh, brace for the air silencer, and a tubing with the gate valve and an adapter to go from uh, metric to US. All you really need for this is a flathead screwdriver to screw on this bracket to the side of the protein skimmer. And here, now this white washer you see right here, I thought it was an extra piece or whatever, you know, I didn't know what it was be gonna be used for, so I kind of figured it out that this black washer was the one that came from the manufacturer of the pump and I think Reef Octopus supplied it because this is a higher quality washer uh, it's kind of the same material that's on the collection cup and that goes around the tubing so I went ahead and took off the black part, black one and put on the kind of clear white one and with this piece here as you can see the teeth on this side go all the way to the top and on this side they kind of stop and you got a little bit of a space well, this is the side that you're going to screw on to the washer so that it fits in there because if you screw it on this side it's actually going to cut the washer and put little tears in it so make sure you screw this one down onto the pump I'm gonna put that there quick and easy once it gets tight just give it a few turns not too much to break the washer but enough to keep it tight All right. <coughs> now with this ventry piece here you're gonna grab this and snap that onto the side of here. It's kind of awkward to put it on, but once it snaps, just push it with two thumbs all the way down, and then you can kind of turn it a little bit. And that's how you know it's on. And this here's the foot of the pump. It was a really hard plastic piece, so it's one of those things that once you put it on, it's pretty much gonna stay on. You're not gonna be able to take it off uh, without risk of cracking it or breaking it. So once this piece is on, don't remove it. And that's how it's going to set underneath the protein skimmer. This here is going to go inside of that hole there. As you can see, it's got that same white kind of clear washer. So it kind of slides in there nice and snug. And we're going to go ahead and start putting this together. First, we'll do the tubing. This elbow comes on the side of the skimmer. You slide it on. Now depending on your room and the sump, you kind of leave it where you want, but given the little tight space that I got, I push it all the way on. Put this piece here. Now the other question comes up, if you glue them or not, I would recommend not to glue it because of maintenance and cleaning. So I would say no glue. High quality gate valve, moves nice and smooth. Put that on there like that, just push it down careful not to put too much pressure on the acrylic make sure it's nice and snug and then you can put on your adapter once your adapter's in there you can also put a T off of here which will help if you shut the skimmer off it won't create a back siphon the top of the T will allow air to go in down the tube so it doesn't siphon back uh, into the skimmer on this side you have a hole here and that is where the brace for the air silencer is going to go. It comes with a little black plastic screw. So when you put this on, be careful not to strip it. Get it in there. Tighten it down. Hold it square. And once it gets tight, give it maybe an eighth of a turn just to hold it where you want it so it doesn't move around. And then the silencer, the two pieces face up, the one piece faces down. You slide it right through the bottom, just like that. Now you got two different silicone tubes. The thicker one actually goes on to the collection cup for those people who want to put something larger down there to collect the skin mate. You could slide that up through there. It's a little nice and tight and snug, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. As you can see how much trouble I have having putting it on. So that one goes there. 
that to roll off. And this one, the thinner one, goes onto the pump. I'd recommend putting it on the pump right away before you stick the tube or the pump underneath the skimmer. So, and then make sure this is still on good. Pick up the skimmer or lay it on its side, probably be a little easier. Now, you got these two big holes on each side. So you're going to use this hole to make sure the tubing comes out of it as that that way kind of got to put this to the side a little bit to get it a fit you put this inside that hole now you don't have to push too hard but nice and steady slow push so it'll start sliding in and then you get this level with the rim of the body and that's why I said don't push it all the way in because once it's in there um, it'll put itself at its own height uh, however you got the floor set for it so you pull the extension cord through the other side this way it's coming out the back and not the front stand it back up and then you turn this up a little bit plug this to the bottom of the silencer these things are pretty tight Now that's on, you can kind of adjust the pump how you want it, but you got to be careful here on this side that it doesn't bump the acrylic and cause it to vibrate. So it's really up to you how you want to put it, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now, just for the sake of the video. And take your collection cup. on top nice and snug on the way down and that's what the 225 looks like once you assemble it hope you enjoyed and it's easy if you get one to put it together and most of the skimmers are actually the same so this will help you put together uh, any other kind of refock to push so happy reefing